talk about accessing the secure browser, first thing you need to do is go down to your app section and then you want to click on select secure test browser. It is then going to load for you. After it loads, please enter your information. You're going to go ahead and type in your first name, your SSID, and your session ID. The session ID will be provided to you by your teacher. After you enter all your information, check to make sure that the information you see on the Is This You page is correct. Next, you're going to select the test that you're going to begin taking. Then you will wait for approval. After you've gotten approval from your teacher, you're going to go ahead and check to make sure that your audio and video are working. First thing you're going to do is you're going to check your camera. You're going to click the agree to grant browser permission, and then you're going to click on the camera. Make sure that you see yourself. If you do, go ahead and click the green button that says I see myself. Next, you're going to check to make sure that the microphone on your device is working. So you're going to click the microphone icon. You're going to record a little bit of audio, and then you're going to click the green button and make sure that you hear that audio that you recorded. Once that audio is done playing back to you, if you can hear it, you're going to go ahead and click the I heard my recording button. Next, we're going to check to make sure that our sound and our video are working. So you're going to click the play button on the video there. Make sure you see the video and hear it. If you do, you're going to check the I could play the video button. Next, we're going to check the text to speech. Make sure that we could hear a person talking and then we're going to go through, we can adjust the volume, we can adjust the pitch and the rate at which the person speaks. Once we have all those configured the way we like, we're going to go ahead and click the I heard the voice green button. After everything is configured, we'll click continue. Next, we'll see some test instructions and help guides. Afterwards, we can click the begin test now. Once we're in our test, we have some navigation that we can see. In the top left, we're going to see the next button, the save button, and the pause button. We can also s do a drop down on which problems we're working on on that page. On the right hand side, you have a line reader that you can click on the text. and It'll go over the lines. Next, on each question, you can, one, you can flag it for review. So you can go back and check the question afterwards. You can also go back and unflag a question. You can also access the notepad where you can type down any notes on a particular question that you're working on in the test. Go ahead and click save and close to make sure that those notes save. And then if you want to look at any type of tutorial to help you in solving the problem and any type of tools or gestures that you might need to do during that problem, you have access to those videos and tutorials as well on each problem. Also in the top right, you can zoom in or zoom out. And this allows you to easily see questions and text on your question. Finally, in the bottom right, you'll see your icon. You can click on that if you're doing remote testing. You have access to your video. You can raise your hand to let your teacher know that you have a question and it'll show up on their end, letting them know that you have a question. And finally, you can move that icon around by clicking the arrows and moving it corner to corner of your screen.